Good morning, friends. Uh, today is the second day on 30 milligrams of Adderall. I was on 20 milligrams for about three weeks, and then I ran out. And then during the time that I ran out, I was trying to cope with caffeine and food. Uh, yeah, my food intake increased quite a bit. Um, the way that I've come to understand how my relationship to food is and where it comes from is attention deficit disorder. And the way that I understand it works is with ADHD, it's not that you can't focus on something, but if it, if you don't get the dopamine that's required to be content with what you're focused on, then you just can't, it's just not possible. I mean, your brain is everywhere and you reach for things or do things to get that stimulation. And for me, food has always been my, my go-to, obviously. And, uh, I, I hate it. I, it's been a lifelong struggle. There have been times when I've gotten buff and healthy. You see the picture right here. And uh, it it was during a, a life-changing um, time period of, of mine where I had left a marriage and became single. And even even in that, my motivation for getting healthy and fit was, to be honest, sex. You know, I was, I was anxious about the dating possibilities. And so my, my physical health was driven by sex, sex cells. There's a reason for that. Um, but when I met my, my girlfriend, Adriana, you know, she was out of my league. So I was, I was aiming high, you know, other things were at play. I was, I was trying to figure out how to land a relationship with somebody who, who was up to par uh, as far as self care. And, uh, she definitely was that. And so we've been together four years and I, I put on a lot of weight. And I think once we got comfortable, you know, I lost the motivation for my fitness and I, and I try to tell myself, it's not like I don't want to be healthy. And I try to make that my motivation is like, I want to be around a long time. I want to be there for my kid. I want to be able to do things with my kid. Something as simple as playing uh, hide and go seek. You know, if I'm running out of breath, the game's not going to last very long and it's not going to get very interesting. So, you know, and my kid has ADHD. It's like, I, I need to give him every advantage and, uh, and things are going that way, but until I started understanding and, and really accepting the fact that I had a condition like ADHD, uh, I was never going to figure it out. And, you know, my own self-perception is that I'm not, I'm not an idiot. And in fact, I've seen my own potential, but, you know, there's only so far I can go with the information I'm trying to retain before I just kind of fumble around again and you know, I just seem like this, this goon who only knows a little bit about a lot. And the truth is, I'd like to know a lot about some things. And uh, no matter how hard I try, no matter how many books I get, no matter how many videos I get, I don't retain the information I think is necessary to take it further. So that that drives me crazy. And I'm I'm going to be 40 this year. So... You know, accomplishing some of those personal goals is really important to me. And in terms of aging and, and, you know, looking 10 years, 20 years down the road, I'd like to feel some sense of accomplishment that I hadn't felt up to now. And I think, you know, part of the journey to getting that done is to accept my mental status. And I think personally, one of the cool things is that I'm going on this journey with my son. And I, I'm kind of the guinea pig for ADHD medication. I started this before he did. He just started um, this week. And 
you know, it's only been a couple of days, so there's nothing noticeable, but they start kids on a very small dose. Um, I've had a couple of lengthy conversations with my son. I've taken him to work because uh, otherwise, you know, he's just sitting at home staring at a screen. And I, I call him from work and tell him, you know, read a book uh, or read some of your book. Um, you know, do these chores and I'll have him write down the chores and, and try to get some of the cognitive um, habits down. But it's just really difficult to do it long distance. So anyways, I take him with me and we have these lengthy conversations. He seems to be able to string ideas together much easier than, than normal. But I mean, I'm when you're first starting medication, like there's this pseudo reality that you know, you you sent you feel like you sent something different, and then your mind plays tricks on you. You're like, "Oh, it's working!" And he said that to me when we were cleaning the house one day. He's like, "Look, it's working." I I, I remember to do all these things, and I'm like, "No, I'm glad you feel that way, son." And and I think it's important for you to understand that you can focus yourself, and it it takes a special interest within you. And I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to guide him perfectly, but, you know, I try to bring light to the idea that he does have some say in how his uh, focus is directed. Um, so, we're in the very beginning of our ADHD journey in terms of treatment. And I, I feel good about the future. Yesterday, after the first day of 30 milligrams, we increased the dose. Uh, my, my psychiatrist, we talked over the phone and uh, I told her how it was going and how it felt. And we increased the dose to 30 milligrams. And uh, I'm supposed to touch base with her in three weeks and let her know how it's going. But yesterday's experience, I'd say around two o'clock in the afternoon. I took my medication at about six o'clock in the morning and about two o'clock in the afternoon, like my son was talking, but I just, I had had enough and I love my kid and he's being wonderful. He really is, you know, amidst all this crazy lockdown stuff, he's actually been really great. He's easygoing. He's full of love. He's, he's bubbly. You know, he's not tripping about anything. Um, and we're working on voicing things like, you know, how you're feeling, if, are you stressed and things like that. But anyhow, that yesterday afternoon, I just, I, I felt my mind like I didn't want to talk anymore, which I thought was weird. And when we got home, like I, I started going through all these things in my head, like, oh man, do I need to up the dose again? Like, I don't, I don't want to become some fucking zombie and, uh. I, I was, you know, I was kind of dealing with some paranoia and some insecurity about it. But when I got home, you know, I, I had my son do a few things, two, a few key things that he's supposed to do when he gets home, feed the dog, uh, you know, clean up his room, so on and so forth. And he did that, take a shower, and he was good. He was, he was great. And then uh, I, last minute, as soon as I went inside, realized, you know what, I'm going to cut the yard. I'm going to mow the lawn. So I went outside and for the next two hours, I mowed and, and weed eated the, the yard and then cleaned up my mess, which is another part of it, you know? Uh, so I did that until my woman got home and then she made dinner. And by the time I came in and we sat and ate, I ate a, a bowl. I usually have, you know, a couple servings, especially when it's like, you know, Mexican food, which is often enough. But this medication, my, my appetite had been suppressed I'm good with that. I can stand to, to lose a little bit of, of this. But, um, so that was the first day uh, I, took, I took my medication about half an hour ago this morning. And uh, I'm waiting, waiting to, to load my truck. And, uh, yeah, I feel good so far. And I'm excited to see how this is going to play, whether we learn if I need to go back some in the dosage or whatever it is, I'm excited to really start to 
appreciate the future that I can have um, based on my my ability to, to focus and structure myself in a way that, you know, will will get my goals accomplished. Um, yeah. I'll come back and make another video about addiction because from what I've understood about myself up to now, addiction has been my best explanation as to some of the behavior I have. And it's a fact. I'm not trying to make an excuse, but just trying to understand how my mind works. Like it helps me curve my appetite for other things and have an understanding as to why I even, you know, yearn those things. So, but I'll, I'll make another video of that. Uh, I appreciate you giving me your time and, and watching my videos. If you would mind, not used to saying this, but if you could subscribe to my channel and Hit that little notification bar so you know when my annoying ass makes another video. Alright. God bless you. Good luck out there.